What was the hardest thing you've ever walked away from? Danica, let's start with you. Mm. I, this is a little bit of a cop out, but um, I'm very decisive. So I'm not really on the fence when it comes to being done with something. I, I don't think there's anything that I think to myself like, oh man, that was really difficult. Like I'm decisive and I make decisions easily and I'm confident of my decisions and I move forward and I'm just not one of those. When people ask uh, like, what, if you could go back and change anything, what would you change? I say nothing because everything mm -hmm. led me to here. So I don't have regret. So um, I, I maybe look back and go like, oh man, that was kind of a bummer and I learned a lesson there, but I don't look <laughs> back and think I wouldn't wish it wouldn't have happened. Got it. Okay. I, I know that's a little bit of a cop out, but I, I just truly, it's like that, that it's I'm a, your mindset. I have, I'm fairly aggressive in some of my thinking and actions, as you may know. So you're intentional. Um, so I'm, I don't have anything that I ever really had such perplexity. I mean, I took a little time to decide to retire, but once I was ready to retire, I was ready. I mean, it was kind of a, a sort of slow burn over 2017 season. Um, but then you asked me, is there anything about racing that I miss? Yeah, I know. And, I was surprised and I by said, how quick you were like, no, I absolutely said, not. No. And you're like, well, how long did that take? I'm like, it didn't take any. Was there a light switch that it was like, this is it, I'm done? Um, or was it someone's conversation that got you to finally say, I just okay, think it, it was once I, once the, my, it was basically the quick scenario is at the beginning of 2017, um, my primary sponsor had left and they, they pulled their sponsorship. And so, um, there was this thought of like, oh my gosh, is the team going to run me this year? What's going to happen? And, and they did. And so the plant seed got planted, like, what if you were done? And I actually had this good feeling in my head of like, oh, I'm not ready to be done because I've never really loved racing. I just loved aspects of racing. Mm. And so racing was my medium to certain aspects, if that makes sense. But it could be like a cheap speed or no, um, no, not at all. It was um, setting a uh, setting a goal and achieving it. It was um, it was focus. I really enjoy like mm. a very isolated focus. Like I have mm. real laser focus. Mm. Um, so I enjoyed that sort of like perfectionism. Like, can I stay in that focus so well that I don't make mistakes? Mm. Um, and so I, I enjoyed that. Um, That's awesome. And, yeah. So uh, racing was my medium for that. And so, um, yeah, anyway, I, I guess I, the seed got planted at the beginning of 2017. And then, so by the point in time where the fall came, I just really got to this point where I was like, I'm going to let the universe decide for me. I didn't put any effort in, but I didn't say I didn't want to do it. I was like, well, if something transpires and the sponsor mm -hmm. comes along and everything works out, we move forward. If not, we go away. And it didn't. So I was like, I'm done. And I remember the day that I told my dad, I was like, you know, I just, and this is a big day. I was like, I wow. don't, I don't know. I, I just said, dad, I was like, I, it's kind of the end. I was like, I, I don't really, I don't really love racing. And he goes, I know. He goes, you, you, which was such a moment for me. Wow. I thought I'd disappoint <laughs> him. And he was like, cause I thought I'd disappoint. I'm like, even saying it now, I'm like, the I world. feel like I, yeah. I cheated the system, right? Like, how could you do that and do so well if you didn't even love it? It's like, well, that's just not the full t context of what I loved. I just loved aspects of it. And so, right. you know, you can't tell me that someone loves selling refrigerators. They don't. They love the people skills. They love this. Mm. They, they love chasing the sell. They love like negotiating. They don't love the fridge, right? Or maybe they do. <laughs> maybe they do. <laughs> maybe they're fridge people. Maybe they're no, no. <laughs> like, wow. but did you see this fridge? Uh, yes. So I no, love no, that. Yeah. And I told him, I was like, I don't really, I don't really love racing. He's like, I know you were, you know, you, you were good at it and you needed a job. And I was like, wow, so wow. true. That's so interesting though. So when he said that, were you like, oh my God, relief? Yeah. Like, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was, a, it was a relief. It was a connection. It was a big, deeper connection for us.